check, check, that better. I forgot to turn my mic on. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to be drawing Captain America today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be anything probably too fancy or very good. Uh, I don't draw this guy very much, and he's kind of a uh, kind of got a specific look to him. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to spam your DMs on Discord now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My question is, why on earth would you want to do that? <laughs> How do you how do you draw a body so well? Teach me. Um, I just did a lot of um, anatomy study here a few months back. Uh, not really much uh, to say about it. <laughs> just kind of you just kind of got to look at uh, like different pictures. And um, you just gotta kind of look at different pictures and then um, try to copy the mus muscular structure and where the muscles seem to fit onto the character. Well, on the real guy as best you can and go from there. I mean, there's no real trick to it. You gotta actually do it. <laughs> Look at his thick legs. Yeah, they they're they're thick for now. <laughs> I'll uh I'll shrink them down once I get the um get to tight tightening things up a little more. Right now I'm just kind of in the the sketching phase trying to feel just feel out where I want the pose to go. Not anything committed to yet just trying to see if I can find something that gives it a more dynamic flow thickness thicker than a snicker no his thighs are perfect <laughs> well I'm not too happy with the pose so I think I'm going to start it over Something a lot of people don't see. <laughs> uh, most of the time the artists just <laughs> post their better stuff. But what you don't see is the hundreds upon hundreds of erasures. <laughs> oh, don't worry, they'll come back. Uh, leave his thighs. <laughs> don't worry, they'll be back. I'm just, like I said, I just didn't, I wasn't happy with that pose. Now, what I'm doing here is what's called a line of action. This helps me to better feel out the pose that I want to put on him now that I have an idea of what I want to do. <laughs> they better. <laughs> the James does not approve. <laughs> oh, don't worry. They'll be back. I promise.
like I said, it's just all about feeling the pose. Didn't feel that one, so went back to square one. Starting to get a good feel for this one. I actually kind of like how that looks. That looks pretty cool. And then you just start adding in the basic shapes for the musculature. A little bit of foreshortening, some exaggeration on the muscles. Arm might be a little longer than it's supposed to be, but it looks cool, so we keep it. <laughs> and feeling the thighs. Wink, wonka. <laughs> yes, yes, it's all about the thighs. <laughs> you want some super thick thighs, you probably love my Hulk drawings then. I tend to make the thighs on him pretty thick, but he's a pretty pretty big character. Well, he's definitely one of the thickest. <laughs> uh, depends on the artist, sometimes he's even thicker than what I draw him. how this one's looking this one looks a lot cooler <laughs> Thanos is the thickest well <laughs> uh. yeah he's gonna be throwing it I'm gonna put it right in here Like I said, nothing's solidified yet. I'm just feeling the thing out, trying to feel the legs, all the muscles. I think I got this leg a little too long. <sighs> the cropper a little. Want it to look like it's flying back uh, nice feel the thighs what kind of pencil is that uh, this is a zebra del guard uh, I forget which model it is. I think it's like a T15 or something like that. Uh, I got about three uh, three different kinds of them. I use these because they got a mechanic in them that uh, when you push down on the lead, well, that wasn't a very good show. When you push down on the lead, it pushes the lead back into the the pencil so you don't break it. Yeah, it's pretty good. This lead that I use here is pretty soft, so I need something that doesn't keep it from or keeps it from breaking so easy. There's that. Take this one down here. And like I said, it's just me feeling out pose. Just playing around with it. Nice. You, gotcha, I might get that. Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not very often I actually get a chance to explain my process. Most of the time people just, oh, wow, that's amazing. How do you do that? Well, it's not any real big trick to it. It's just basic anatomy with some exaggeration. I mean, anybody can do it, really.
Libra, how long have you had to put up with me? You should know by now I ask a zillion questions. Hey, that's fine with me. Ask away. I mean, that don't bother me none. Like I said, it's just, it's not very often I get the chance to actually explain the process because, you know, usually it's, uh, most people don't care much for the, the comic book art style, let alone the way that I do it. I like the way you do it. Recently I've tried doing something somewhat similar to that style, but I always revert back to my crappy style. There's no such thing as a crappy art style. Mostly because an art style in and of itself is just the interpretation from the artist in his view of the world around him. So, how I draw them is just how I see the human body versus, say, anybody else. Oops, forgot something. Be back in one second.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, thank you. Uh, some goober forgot to plug in his one camera so it stays charged instead of running on battery mode. Shesu, you have my support. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm more drunk than a drunk crunk than a drunk runk, but ye is nice. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. Uh, I'm actually filling out a sketch for uh, Captain America. I figured since it was uh, the Fourth of July Independence Day, it would be uh, it would be appropriate. Unfortunately, I'm not very happy with the arm placement, and I can't figure out why. <sighs> arms and legs, man. Arms and legs. Luna Wolf. I hate my username on Twitch, but I'm green, a.k.a. Kokichi. Oh, okay. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for stopping in. Oh, wow. Got about six of yous now. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, one second, guys. Be back. professional but uh it's something <laughs> well, hopefully that'll be the last interruption for the evening uh 
but yeah, if you're just tuning in, I'm currently trying to draw Captain America for the 4th of July for America. I just felt it was appropriate. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now I'm just trying to fill out the pose and doing just some basic construction line, not doing anything super advanced. Uh, let's see, going back to the chat here. Green, I always hate, I always struggle with hair. Uh, hair is actually not that difficult. Um, really, it's just a bunch of lines that clump in like that. Just kind of let them droop in where they go. Just kind of let it fall on the head there. Uh, green, green. Oh God, laughing my ass off. Again, wowza. Oh snap. BRB page with music. <laughs> Professional AF. <laughs> yes, shoulders. I cannot do shoulders. Where cannot do where the arm meets the torso. Nope, nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, easiest way I found to do that is to uh, when you're drawing the chest. If you look at the chest on the male of the torso, the shoulders uh, connect into the sh to the the the, uh, the chest in one continuous, almost sort of like a muscle grouping. So you'll have like a little teardrop shape up here on the shoulder blade, and then it'll come around, make a teardrop shape. And then that pulls down into the muscle of the torso of the chest. Uh, if you guys have ever, uh, if you guys ever watched like professional American football where they wear them big shoulder pads, it's the same principle. Uh, so if you ever get a chance to look up like professional football American shoulder pads, and that can give you a basic idea, or you could just look at some uh, musculature from online. Uh, nope, nope, uh, okay. I can't do hands or the other eye. Those are the only things I can do well. Whoa, thank you for the wisdom. Um, uh, it's not really wisdom, uh, it's just stuff that they teach you on most of these, uh, art things that you look on, like YouTube and stuff like that. But, yeah, if you're drawing here, you'll draw the chest here and then there's the arm there's the four or there's the shoulder there it just kind of all connects into that and you get your bicep your tricep right in here and then you'll pull it into your forearm and then your fist or hand And then you just curve that around and it hides up underneath the armpit. And you come in here for the the abdominals and such. Uh, super smart, yes, big brain, cosmic brain. I never look at those. <laughs> well, I don't think uh, looking at somebody's brain is going to help you much in uh, in art. <laughs> I mean, it could if you actually need to draw a brain, but neither here nor there. Ah, <laughs> uh, shnikes. But yeah, if you actually look at like an anatomy study thing, the musculature it's all um, it's actually kind of fluid in a way I mean everything connects from your fingertip all the way into your shoulder into your chest into your stomach from your head to your toes basically it's all basically one big muscle system and it all connects and interweaves it's actually pretty cool Uh, 
it's starting to look more like Deadpool than Captain America. <laughs> there, now he's now he's Cap. We'll give him a mean grimace there just to give him some kind of a face until I can get his head drawn in better. Uh, let's see here. You can't do the other eye. Uh, well, green, honestly, the best way to uh, to draw the second eye, a lot of people do have trouble with that, myself included. I found the easiest way to do it is to draw. Uh, when I first started doing it to find my style, I did three three or three circles, each one the same size. This center circle here is the divider for where the nose goes. And then you just put in the eyelids over top of them, other two circles. And then you just kind of mess with them until they start to look about even. Uh, unless you're doing it with a computer, you're never actually going to get them 100% even. <sighs> you can get them close but you'll never get them exact like I said unless you're using a computer program then you can just take the face divide it and then just hit the the mirror function and just copy and paste but if you want to freehand it that's the best way to do it So how is everybody tonight? Uh, I always draw faces. <laughs> well, that's the best thing to do. Draw everything. It's the only way you learn. Anybody heard that? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, don't get a look at him on his wee little boots. Yeah, for those of you that actually uh, watched the um, the Captain America, the f first Avenger movie, when you saw him in that goofy looking costume, that was actually very similar to how he dresses in the comic books. Flared boots and the whole nine yards. I mean, they obviously did some variation of it to make it look a little less goofy, but overall... That one you see him wearing in World War II is pretty much it. The one where he does that song and dance. <laughs> Wonderful. We little boots. <laughs> I'm going to annoy my admin while watching for no reason. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she's not going to appreciate that. In case you've actually noticed, I haven't drawn this guy a whole lot, so I'm pretty sure a lot of this is not going to be anywhere near close to what he looks like in either the comics or anything like that. But, uh, hey, it's just for fun. Uh, I wonder what would happen if I said we little boots in voice chat with you. Next time we VC, I will with accent I like 
his nub feet. <laughs> well, they're just kind of placeholders for the time being. Once I get get things straightened out here, I'll start uh, tightening up my pencils a little better. But like I said, right now I'm just trying to feel things out. It's it's getting there, but it's not quite where I'm ready to start inking yet. And that's always a trip. So what's everyone up to? Uh, Yun's just kind of chilling, or what's going on? Sleepy drawing, huh? Hey, cool beans. Sleepy, what happened to the karaoke thing? I thought you were going to be doing some singing. <laughs> I was never going to sing. That's not what you said yesterday. I saw the messages. Besides that, you're the owner. How can you not how can you put on an event and not participate? Especially with something like that. He he. Uh. <laughs> Very nice. Starting to feel a lot happier with this. Now if I could just get the head to shape up a little bit, I think I'd be alright with going in to start inking. The only problem with doing these sort of half-masked characters is the eye holes for me. I mean, I could always cheat it, do it Batman style, but it's not how he was originally done in the comics, and they still don't really fall back on that very much. Break his neck. <laughs> Break his neck, huh? Now, why on earth would I want to do that? Old rule of comics. Um, 
The idea to make it look dynamic and action-packed is to exaggerate things as much as humanly possible without obviously making it too uh, distorted or out of whack. But even then, uh, most guys can and often do take it to well beyond the extreme. If you look at like one of my favorite artists, Jack Kirby, uh, his proportions and his uh, his exaggeration for the artwork was way, way out of whack, but it gave it the raw power that you just don't see very much in most of these modern comics anymore. I mean, he he took the medium. I mean, he he's a re, there's a reason they call him the king of comics. He he took a stale, dull-looking medium, and he thrust it forward to such a degree that most people are still trying to figure out how he did half the stuff that he did. I mean, his anatomy was terrible. His, uh, his um, perspective was always off, but nobody could do it the way he did it and make it look like it was something that was action-packed and, you know, full of, uh, full of drama. Every page that you look at, there's always something going on. There's always a different angle. It's just, it, his stuff was very good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> because heads suck, I can relate so hard. <laughs> oh, heads aren't so bad once you figure out how to do them. It's just the figuring out part that's the tough part. But once you get it broke down, it's not so bad. It's just like anything else, you just gotta practice a lot. Practice, practice, and then practice some more when you feel your practice is sore. And then practice again just for a good measure. <laughs> What's the matter, Squeaker? <laughs> oh, one second, guys. Pup's got to get a drink. Let's get back to it, huh? Uh, one thing that's kind of different from the movies versus the comic books with Captain America is in the comics he's actually wearing chain mail or something similar to it. But in the movies he's wearing more or less like a Kevlar type stuff.
starting to come together. Guess everybody else got tired and went to bed. <laughs> oh, that well, was still cool that they all showed up. not happy with these legs. I think I might have to play the old uh, cover card.
sheep, sheep, sheep. This blasted leg is giving me trouble. Gonna throw it. You're gonna put your leg into it. I don't know what it is. Something about this just doesn't look right. What do you think? Eh. Yeah, whatever. We'll just go with it. Right leg might want to lift it up. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, so kind of like a baseball pitch. Maybe put him in his left arm sticking out like a throwing stance. So it looked kind of like a baseball pitch with the leg. Yeah, that was that was the initial intention. But when I first started doing that, I didn't much care for the the draw or the the leg pose. Uh, 
I might have got it now. We'll see. Uh, just a shame everybody left already, huh? Wouldn't have minded having a few others to talk to, but hey, I'll take what I get. <laughs> One's better than none. As for that arm, it's already here. I don't have it very exposed. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me of my old boss he used to say, yeah, yeah. He used to make fun of him for it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so far two of my art streams seem to be flubs as far as my drawing goes, but hey. Uh, <laughs> muscular. Come on, donkey, look at him and his wee little boots. No, it looks lovely. <laughs> well, you're very kind, thank you, but I'm pretty sure I could do better. It's just... Shouldn't have actually came in drawing cold like I am. LOL. We little boots. <laughs> That's going to be your new catchphrase, isn't it? Is we little boots. <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> yes. <laughs> have to be honest, I'm actually not a big fan of drawing footwear. I'm actually better at drawing bare feet than I am drawing boots or sneakers. Is that weird? <laughs> No, same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of figured you were going to say the opposite, that you had an easier time drawing boots than you do uh, clothed feet. Most people that I've, uh, I've usually talked to, they always say that they find boots or shoes easier to draw than the bare feet because of the toes and stuff. So it's a little weird. At least I thought so anyway, but hey, each a run, right? Uh, I think I'm finally happy with the legs. Now I can start throwing in some uh, detail work with the pencils and then draw the shield and finally be ready to ink this bad boy. <laughs> I know one thing, I think I made the torso a little too long, it just looks very disproportionate. And nice. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Uh, but, 
like I said, a lot of comic artists, they tend to do that to exaggerate a certain pose, make it look more dynamic. So, I mean, it's not like I'm out of the ballpark with it. It's just for sake of anatomical correctness, it's not, you know, it's not where it should be. Give him his little undies. Because he can't be very strong without his undies. <laughs> He's a slender man, Junior. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, I've actually, I might do that for Halloween if I still do the stream thing. Might draw Slender Man. Uh, random factoid, did you know that the reason that you see like Batman and all of them with the the underwear drawn in is because back in the day whenever they were drawn it was uh, a homage to circus strongmen because that was what they would wear they would wear underwear well not they would wear shorts or underwear looking shorts like what you see professional wrestlers wear outside of their uh, or like this so in that time period it was actually a symbol of strength if they had that on their comic book characters, it was to say, yeah, this guy's a real strong guy, you know. Today, not so much. Now it's all about who runs the fastest or who can jump over a building in a single bound or something like that. Or in my case, how many times a guy can crush a planet when he's pissed off enough. <laughs> Imagine wearing your underwear over your pants. Uh, that actually wouldn't be too hard for me to imagine because I'd probably do it. <laughs> Stencils. That's a little too round. Yeah, we'll just freehand it. Next thing you know, people will go, who wipes? <laughs> ew. <laughs> What's ew? Imagining underwear over over pants. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Considering the fact that a lot of the uh, Batman stuff and the Superman stuff were like that for years up until very very recently, it's actually not that hard to imagine. You know, if you actually stop and think about it, 
Captain America probably kills a lot of people with that shield of his. The thing probably weighs anywhere between 50 to 100 pounds and he throws it at a very high fel high velocity in order to get it to ricochet in such a way that it comes back to his hand every time. That kind of uh, particular impact would most likely kill somebody. <laughs> Shield of decapitation. Yeah, that's actually about right. <laughs> Because he's supposed to be like Herculean strong. And then you add in the fact that uh, the shield weighs X amount of pounds. I don't think they've ever actually said how much his shield weighs. But um, yeah, you add that in with it. And you're looking at something that will basically put a guy down permanently. Still not very happy with how this turned out, but don't think there's a whole lot more I can do to try to fix it. Mostly due to the fact that I don't draw this guy very much. So, ink time! Ink, ink, ink. Ink, ink, ink. the fun part <sighs> we ink
weird thought. What if every time Cap throws his shield because of the amount of effort he puts into it, what if every time he does it, he like farts from the strain, but we never hear it, like it somehow propels the shield. Effort fart. <laughs> well, <laughs> I never really thought about that, but I guess if uh, in the heat of the battle, it is entirely possible that I'm sure once or twice he may or may not have uh, left one rip by mistake. Because, hey, he's still human. Superhuman, but human nonetheless. LMAO. I can see Iron Man just slowly turning around and going, Really? Sorry, Stark. <laughs> uh, maybe. Actually, truth be told, I think Tony would be grosser in the movies. Especially when you consider the fact in one point, I do recall them saying that his suit has a built-in bathroom so take that for what you will I flipped that a little bit but oh, that'll be all right And it's funny, most folks never believe me when I tell them that I ink everything with a brush. It just gives you so much more to work with. LMAO, I might actually animate that. <laughs> That'd be cool.
very talkative right now. This is kind of the spot where I usually got to do the most focus. Definitely done worse pieces. This one's coming together a lot better than I had initially thought it was going to. You're probably not going to like this part. <laughs> All that effort to draw in them legs, and now I'm going to cover them up anyway. God, Cody, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I got it. It's where the shield's going. <laughs> See? The shield's going to go right there. <laughs> the idea was that he's throwing it right at the camera. I'd like to see somebody get that kind of line variation with a can with a pen. <laughs> Don't do it. I <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, you'll still be able to see his wee little boots. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> I want to see that butt. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The next one I do, if I do another one like this, I will promise you that I will draw the legs so that they are visible. <laughs> I'll even make sure it's something that has thick thighs. <laughs> Can you draw whammon? Unfortunately, I cannot. They are a major weakness for me. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I can't draw them, it's that I cannot draw them well. <laughs> uh, my whammon often end up looking like men. <laughs> Bruh, Eddie drew me eating a bagel. I look so weird. <laughs> well...
At least he tried. So we, oh, I'll DM you, <laughs> so you shall see. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, I'll take a look at it after the stream's over. I do know one thing though, I really gotta remember not to come into these streams cold like this. Cause it just taint good. The only upside for me is while my pencils I need to freaking warm up on considerably my inks I can always come in cold. Because for some reason I can ink without much problem. It's just the drawing portion that I have an issue with. last bit. I'm going to cheat a little bit. And use a pen. doesn't actually look that good but oh well
definitely not one of my better stars, that's for sure. <laughs> Crappy artist's best friend, Whiteout. Makes all your problems disappear. Not a bet, not my, not not a good star, but it'll work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, just one last thing I gotta do. Cap here, a little shadow. Make it look like he's on something solid. Put her little signature down. And that'll do her. Uh, thanks everybody for stopping in. Uh, those that did and the only one that probably is still around. Uh, hopefully this one did a little better than the last video or the last uh one that I did and maybe you learned something and hopefully I'll see you in the next time. Have a good night.